Hello and welcome to NDTV 24-7. I'm Rohit Wellington. Let's begin with our top story. The crucial meeting between Punjab Chief Minister Charanjit Chani and Navjot Sidhu, after which sources say that Sidhu will stay on as the Congress State Unit Chief. Sources say that a coordination committee will be set up which will be tasked with monitoring the progress of the Congress's promises made before the 2017 Punjab elections. There's a buzz that this three-member committee might comprise Harish Chaudhary, the Chief Minister, and Mr. Sidhu himself. Meanwhile, Amarinder Singh, in an exclusive interview to NDTV, said that he's not jo joining the BJP, but definitely quitting the Congress party. Amarinder Singh called his rival Navjot Sidhu a childish man who's been given a serious job by the party. NDTV's Neeta Sharma spoke with the former chief minister. कल ये भी एक चर्चा में थी बात कि आप बीजेपी ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं मैसेज रात भर फ्लोट कर रहे थे तो आर यू स्टिल अ कांग्रेसमैन आई एम सो फार बट आई विल नॉट रिमेन इन द कांग्रेस फॉर लॉन्ग आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड माय पोजीशन वेरी क्लियर दैट आई आई विल नॉट बी ट्रीटेड इन दिस मैनर आई हैव बीन इन दिस कांग्रेस फॉर 50 एंड द पार्टी इन पॉलिटिक्स फॉर 52 इयर्स एंड आई हैड टोल्ड एवरीवन नोस दैट दैट आई हैव माय ओन बिलीफ्स आई हैव माय ओन प्रिंसिपल्स एंड द वे आई हैव बीन ट्रीटेड देखिए साढ़े दस बजे मुझे सी पी रिंग करते हैं क्या आप रिजाइन कर दो मैंने एक बार उनको नहीं पूछा क्यों मैंने कहा आई विल डू इट जस्ट नाउ चार बजे मैं गवर्नर को दे के आया हूँ टेलीफोन गए फ्रॉम फ्रॉम दो ऑब्जर्वर जो तीन भेजे थे यहाँ से सबको के पी सी सी में इकट्ठे हो सी एम के घर में किसी ने नहीं जाना अगर मेरे को आपने पचास साल के बाद मुझे डाउट करते हो मेरी क्रेडिबिलिटी इज एट स्टेक आई देन देन देर नथिंग लेफ्ट अगर आप मेरी ट्रस्ट नहीं रही तो मुझे रहने का क्या मतलब है आज की डेट में इलेक्शन जैसे कुछ महीनों में है हाउ स्ट्रॉन्ग इज कांग्रेस देर इन पंजाब देखिए द लास्ट सर्वे विच वी गॉट डन आम आदमी वॉज गोइंग अप कांग्रेस वॉज गोइंग डाउन लेट मी टेल यू थर्टी फर्स्ट मे को वी डिड वन सर्वे एंड थर्टी फर्स्ट जुलाई की दो महीने की सर्वे की इन द मेन टाइम जून में सिद्धू लग गया था ट्वेंटी परसेंट ड्रॉप इन पंजाब कांग्रेस की पॉपुलरिटी What does it mean? People have not expected, do not have any confidence in Sidhu. Mm. Now you see, Sidhu is what sort of a man? Sidhu is a man who can draw crowds. Who mm. drama he does, who Kapil Sharma in the show he does, that kind of stuff. So people are happy, they come. We, we, when elections are held, we call the actors to call the actors. Why do we call them? So that the crowds gather. That's why not. कि इनको सुनकर लोग उनके उनकी बातों पे कोई वोट डालेगा वोट इज इट्स नॉट दे आर अ क्राउड गैदर एंड सेम इज विद सिद्धू इसको तो कोई ही इज नॉट ही ही इज अ चाइल्डिश मैन ही इज नॉट ही इज नॉट अ सीरियस मैन एंड कांग्रेस एंड पी सी सी जॉब इज अ वेरी सीरियस जॉब जो न्यू सी बने हैं उनके लिए कोई एडवाइस आपको अभी तक जैसे उन्होंने काम किया है हाउ इज ही बिन डूइंग No, I have no object uh, with with uh, with Chani. Chani has been my minister. Hmm. I, I mean, I've said it before. He is a, a, a intelligent man. He's done his doctorate. He's a, he's well educated, and he's a, was a good minister of uh, uh, te um, um, technical education and also of uh, um, culture and uh, such affairs. And he's done a good job, so I'm sure he will. He'll know how to run it, provided this this fellow Sidhu allows him to run it. Mm -hmm. I mean, this look. There are two aspects. One is the PCC, which is kept in its government, which is kept in its own party, and one is the government, the chief minister who runs his government. Mm -hmm. Sidhu wants to dominate Chennai. एंड तभी इसको नाराज किया कि मेरे मेरे कहे पे इसको लगाया नहीं उसको लगाया नहीं दो बार मैं चीफ मिनिस्टर बना मुझे तो उन्होंने खुली छूट दे दी जिसको बनाना है मिनिस्टर बनाओ जिसको पोर्टफोलियो देने दो ये तो ये तो द होल प्रोसेस इज रिवर्स ना आपने अभी एक एक बात आपने अभी बोली कि अभी न्यू फोर्सेज आ रही है तो कुछ ऐसी भी चर्चा है कि आप अपनी नई पार्टी बनाएंगे या कुछ इस तरह जो जो होगा वो आपको पता लग जाएगा बट बीजेपी नो नो आई एम नॉट ज्वाइनिंग बीजेपी 
So you are not a congressman. You are not a BJP guy as of now. Today, I'm. I, I haven't resigned from the Congress yet, hmm. but uh, I will resign. Hmm. I will resign. Hmm. I am not one of those who takes a decision, you know, like hmm. on the split second. Hmm. Uh, one has to think of various pros and cons and various things. Hmm. But I can tell you that I am. Uh, I am not going to stay with the Congress. And BJP last. No, I am not staying with the BJP. I am not going with the BJP. Thank you so much, sir, and all the best for your future. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, sir. So with this factionalism and in fighting in the Punjab Congress, the other big emerging player in Punjab, Aam Aadmi Party, is claiming to be the only alternative in the state. Your comments on everything that is unfolding in Delhi right now. <laughs> you see, Punjab has become politically very volatile. The Congress Party, which got a thumping mandate in the year 2017 to give a stable and a pro-people government for full five years, has essentially been reduced to a state of anarchy. There is political anarchy within the Congress and in the state, and that has happened because uh, because of this game of thrones that is being played between several factions within the Congress Party, and they have essentially, uh, as a Punjabi, I say this, insulted the mandate and insulted the people of the state. While politically one can draw conclusions that, oh, this self-destructive mode that the Congress is in is going to benefit the Aam Aadmi Party or is going to work in favor of the Aam Aadmi Party, etc. I leave that to political analysts and commentators. The only option before the people now is the Aam Aadmi Party, a tried and tested model in Delhi for the model of Punjab. To West Bengal now, where Bhabanipur voted on Thursday in a key bipole for Mamta Banerjee. She needs to win this to stay on as Chief Minister. The Trinamool Congress is aiming for a record victory, but the BJP, meanwhile, is alleging rigging. Monidipa Banerjee reports. In under five minutes, Mamta Banerjee came to her polling booth, voted and left. If there was a V for victory sign, it was fleeting. Her stakes are high. She needs to win to remain Chief Minister uninterrupted. A low 21% turnout in the morning shot past 50% by 4 p.m., boosting TMC confidence of a hat-trick with a record margin. BJP challenger Priyanka Tegrawal, also hoping the turnout will go her way, locked horns with an alleged fake TMC voter on her rounds of the polling booths and with TMC leader Mother Mitra. Perhaps she loves me, okay. I also uh, thank, uh, thank her because she is every time taking my name. Oh, lovely. More you take, more I will be lovely. Complaints flew to the election commission of booth reading despite 2,500 Central Force Jawans and an equal number of Kolkata police personnel deployed to keep the peace. Some voters were miffed that they had to vote twice in five months. Others happy to vote in Bengal's chief minister and they said, who knows what next. No, I'm here to be okay. This is the second time that Mamta Banerjee is contesting a bipole from Bhavanipur for the Chief Minister's chair. But the Trinamool this time is certainly hoping that Bhavanipur will now catapult her to the corridors of power in New Delhi. All eyes now on Sunday, counting and results. With Amrit Tripathi and Didi Shankar, Manandipa Banerjee, NDTV. The latest incursion by Chinese forces in the Barahudi region of Uttarakhand is yet another reminder that the line of actual control between India and China remains contentious in several regions beyond Ladakh. 
What do we know about this latest intrusion, first reported by the Economic Times? Vishnu Shom has the details. Chinese forces in the Barahoti region of Uttarakhand is yet another reminder that the line of actual control between India and China remains quite volatile. So let's roll these graphics to give our viewers an idea of where it's all happening. So this is the state of Uttarakhand. It is in this area, in the Barahoti area, that this incursion actually took place. So let's go full frame to these Chinese soldiers entered five kilometers in the Barahoti area. The little flashing area is the exact spot where they entered. The next area actually identifies uh, where exactly it took place. The Tunjun La Pass to the north is from where they entered. The Barahoti area is encircled over there on your screen. They came about five kilometers inside. Army sources say that they didn't destroy any infrastructure, that they were there after for just a few hours after which they left in an area where there is a contested boundary. Indian and Chinese patrols actually go back and forth in that area. But let's finally take a look at all of the areas, and they're all marked there on your screen, right from Debsang to the north in Ladakh to a Chinese village in Arunachal Pradesh to the east all across the 3,000 kilometer plus frontier between India and China are areas where there are incursions. China believes their line is further in what we consider India and vice versa. Patrols take place in both areas. What is important to remember here is that there's no Chinese construction, so it's not a land grab. So like in many times in the past, Indian soldiers patrol, Chinese soldiers patrol. What's different this time is they came five kilometers inside with 100 soldiers. Time for a short break. Lots more on the other side. Stay with us. Welcome back. Former Mumbai Police Commissioner Parambir Singh, whose handling of the bomb scare near the home of Mukesh Ambani has raised questions, is missing. Maharashtra Home Minister Dilip Walse Patel has said Parambir Singh was transferred from the post of Mumbai Police Commissioner in March. मैंने भी ऐसे सुना है इनपुट ऐसे ही है कि वो होंगे या नहीं होंगे एक्चुअली एक गवर्नमेंट ऑफिसर होने के कारण उन्होंने अगर देश के बाहर जाना है तो गवर्नमेंट की अनुमति लेना आवश्यक है उसके सिवा वो जा नहीं सकते हैं एलओ से भी इशू की है उसके साथ भी वो जा नहीं सकते कोई भी मंत्री हो कोई भी ऑफिसर हो कोई भी मुख्यमंत्री हो उनको गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया का क्लियरेंस लिए बगैर देश के बाहर जाने के लिए मर्यादा है अभी महाराष्ट्र गवर्नमेंट हम उनको ढूंढ रहे जहां मिलेंगे उसके बाद में हम तय करेंगे and finally schools in mumbai will welcome children for the first time since march last year so what are the new rules what's the new normal saurabh gupta has this report schools in mumbai will reopen on monday for the first time in one and a half years Amidst demands from activists who say children are losing their future over the continued closure of schools, students are elated that they are finally reopening and principals say they are ready. I genuinely miss coming into my classroom every day hoping to see my teachers and my friends. All the health and safety protocols as mandated by the government is in place even though it's been a very short notice. We are all in a very safe place with our teachers fully vaccinated. This morning, Mumbai announced guidelines for reopening of schools. Schools will reopen only for students from classes 5 to 12 on 4th October. One class will have 50 students only and one student will be allowed to sit on a bench. Students have also been asked to come on an alternate day's basis. All schools must be connected with nearby COVID centers. Masks and sanitizers have to be given by schools, but parents must ensure that one extra mask and sanitizer bottle is kept in the student's bag. Authorities say most teachers are vaccinated, but whoever hasn't got the jab yet should get themselves vaccinated by visiting nearby centers. Parents in urban areas especially, however, are still skeptical. Teachers' bodies also have concerns. We have been demanding that the teachers will be vaccinated, all the staff should be vaccinated, but the government has not given any kind of data. They don't have any data 
uh, where they can show that how many teachers are vaccinated. सरकार का फैसला ये अनुचित है जब तक बच्चों के लिए उपलब्ध नहीं होने वैक्सीन उपलब्ध नहीं होती है तब तक खतरा नहीं लेना चाहिए Children will return to schools like this after one and a half years as the government after weighing the pros and cons has decided it's safe to reopen schools but many parents still remain unconvinced In Mumbai with camera person Praveen Ji Rohit Saurabh Gupta and the TV And that's a wrap on this bulletin from the entire team thanks for watching goodbye